Hi, okay, this is a sample setup showing a cache system. Cache with the LCD screen, keyboard mouse, cache drawer, and the receipt printer. So it's going to be the it's going to play the role of a cache. And here we have our waiter screens. So this is going to be waiter screen, 10 inch screen. This one is a 7 inch screen. And this is a 5.5 inch screen and 5 inch screen respectively smartphones. And these are the tablets. And our Wi-Fi router with our kitchen printer. We have set our kitchen printer with the IP address of 201 at the end. 201. Okay. So we're going to test by adding a one order. We just need, need to go to the order tables and click on the table that we want to place the order. Let's say table 25. Click on it and the screen will open for us to choose what is the food we would like to add for this table. So let's say I'm going to add fried rice. I'm going to say egg fried rice and we can add the quantity here, how many quantity or minus quantity. Let's say they got an extra remarks, we can click on this remarks button. On this remark button. And over here we have all the remarks that we have preset in the system. You can edit the remarks if you want to. For let's say they're going asking for extra egg. So we're going to it automatically going to adjust one ringgit. This price you can set in the system. Let's say so now it becomes 4 ringgit 50 cents. Assuming there's no GST, it's going to be empty. We can add the next item. So right now I'm going to add a uh, Maggi Goring or something. This Maggi Goring we have linked to our kitchen printer, the printer with IP address 201. I'm going to add uh, let's say three of these Bihun Goring. Maggi Goring. Okay, so three of these items. Let's add an extra remark for this. No veggie. Okay, this is our order list. And right now, I'm going to submit this order. Click on submit. And it will ask me to double confirm if I want to submit this order. If it's there's something wrong, I can cancel it and go back, select on the item that I made wrong, and delete the item. Or I can as well delete the item. Uh, I mean edit the item so going back we're going to save these things order for table 25 for items these three items are connected to the kitchen printer and we're going to save the order save yes I confirm to save the order okay the order table 25 is here as you can see just now the kitchen printer it did print out our order list so here we go so one bihun goreng kocha goreng and Maggi Goreng. For Kota Goreng, we added a remark that no veggie, so the remark comes up there. And it's for the order number 2, table number 25. Got date and time. This uh, this uh, information can be adjusted from the system on what we need and what we don't need. This is the kitchen kitchen area name itself. Alright. Okay, so that was just for the ordering and submitting to the kitchen. And now let's say we place an order and we want the order list to be printed up. So we go to our system, we maintenance, go to printer, select order list. Okay, so right now the order list is off. I'm going to turn off the order list. And I want the printer to be the cash drawers printer, that means the cashier printer. Just now it was using the IP address, right? So I'm going to make it the cash draw the cashier printer. Alright. And we can select either we want to show the price or not. Normally they don't show price for the order list. We save this. Okay, now we add another order. Okay, let's let's stop with this uh, cashier thing. We go to the waiter. Let's see how the waiter can add the orders. This is the waiter screen, assuming a 10 inch waiter screen. So I'm going to log in using a pin code. This is my waiter pin code. Enter. This is my waiter screen and I'm going to add the order for table 7. The same thing, I need to select what are the items I want. So I want the same item. We can go in.
okay so these are the items I've added for table 7 and I'm going to place the order it will ask me to double confirm and yes I want to double confirm so the order was printed here all right we go and just now we set up the order list right so the order list printed at the cashier printer so the purpose of this order list is that so we can place this order list slip in a customer's table themselves so they can actually check their order double confirm their order all right that's it